Hi, I'm Katie, a product manager with CX Tech. Today I'd like to take you through the evolution of Cisco ATA devices. The very first Cisco ATA was a 188. That 188 actually had a PC port on it in addition to two analog ports. That meant that you could actually connect a PC through the ATA and into your network. It supported several protocols. It supported MGCP, SCCP, or Cisco Skinny Protocol. In addition, it supported H.323 and SIP. This product was end of life by Cisco in 2006. When Cisco end of life the ATA-188, they replaced it with an ATA-186. I know that part number convention is confusing, that's just how Cisco works. So what happened with the ATA-186 that changed from the 188 is that Cisco actually removed the support for a PC port. They did not think it was a good idea for you to be able to add a PC onto your IP network and not be able to manage that device. It still remained having two analog ports so you could connect two analog devices, fax machines, into your IP network. At this point, the protocols that this unit supported dropped also. Now, you still support Cisco's Skinny protocol, or SCCP, in addition to SIP. This product was end of life by Cisco in 2010. Cisco replaced the ATA-186 with an ATA-187. The ATA-187 still had no PC port, but did have two analog ports that were still supported on the device. Now, this is when the big change happened and when most customers could not use the ATA-187 is because it only supported SIP for its signaling protocol. Um, one of the catches with the ATA also is that it's not end of life, but you have to have certain versions of call manager in order for this to be supported. So you need to be on 7.1.3 or 8.0 in order for this to be supported. In addition to the ATA-187, another option you have from Cisco is actually a voice gateway. A voice gateway 202 or a 204, a VG-202 or 204. These boxes still don't support PC ports, but you do now have an option of supporting two or four analog devices on the box. The benefit of considering a voice gateway or a VG202 or 204 is that now you can support, again, Cisco Skinny protocol or you can run this using SIP. The one thing about the VG202s and 204s is that these are inherently more expensive than the ATAs from Cisco. And the main reason why is because you now actually get Cisco IOS on these boxes, which allows you to manage them instead of treating them like a dummy terminal like the ATA. I hope that you've learned something about the evolution of Cisco ATAs and voice gateways. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us.